Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at how to do the half double crochet stitch. So we're going to begin by making a slip knot. And if you need help with the very beginner levels of crochet, I do have videos for those. We're going to be making a swatch of 10 stitches. So we're going to begin with half double crochet by chaining 12. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. With half double crochet, we skip the first two of the chain. And the reason we do that is to build up to the height of the next row. We'll go into that in detail a little more later. So I work into the back bumps. Again, this is the front of the chain here. We're skipping one, two, working into this one. The backs of the stitches, one, two. We're working into this one here. To do a half double crochet, you begin by yarning over. You insert your hook into the stitch. You yarn over, pull through. You've got three on the hook. You yarn over and you pull through those three. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, insert the hook. Yarn over, pull through. Three on the hook. Yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, insert the hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through three. You're in the end here. So for the last stitch, you can see that this V right here, that's the last stitch before the slip knot, this little line right there, a little bit of yarn, that is the slip knot. Looking at the back here, you can kind of see two bumps. This one closest to this last stitch here, that is the bump we're looking for. That is the back of the last stitch. This little guy right here, that's the slip knot. We just want to ignore that. So insert your hook under that. Oh, excuse me, yarn over. Insert the hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through three. I'm just going to move the slip knot over a little bit just to sort of make it more even. And let's count our stitches here. We should have 10. This little guy at the end is the turning chain. It's important to note that some patterns will want you to count half double crochet turning chain as a stitch, whereas others won't. Most of the time, it does not count as a stitch. In all of my patterns, I never count. The turning chain of a half double crochet as a stitch. So this one, two that we skipped in the beginning, we're just going to ignore that. So here's our first stitch. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Counting along the top here, this is the turning chain, one and two, so we ignore that. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The patterns will always specify if you should count that turning chain or not. So just be sure to check out the notes section of the pattern. So to get started with the next row, we're going to begin by chaining two. That's the turning chain. So one, two. Now again, this stitch 
or those two chains do not count as a stitch. So that means that we do work into this first stitch here. There's the one and the two we just chained. We're gonna yarn over and we work into this one right here. We're going underneath both loops of that stitch, going underneath the entire V. We're gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. I make special note to say to go under both of those loops there because in the beginning I was really confused by that. This is the front loop and this is the back loop. So if you do have a pattern that specifies going to the front loop only, you go like that, back loop only, go like that. But vast majority of the time you'll be going underneath both. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Okay guys, so we're at the last stitch here. You can see the last stitch. You can see it on the front side really easily. There's that little V and then there's what makes it the half double crochet. It looks like a single crochet with a little line on top. There's the top of the stitch. Here's that chain one, chain two. We're ignoring those. There's the top of the last stitch. So we yarn over. Insert our hook like so, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. So let's count the tops of the stitches here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that right there is the turning chain. So just keep working those stitches up until you guys feel comfortable with a half double crochet. It creates a really nice fabric. It's kind of dense, but it's also a little bit flowy. You can get a lot of work done um, with this stitch without it be, being too gappy. So it's one of my favorites for sure. I hope that's helpful.